Farup Summerland is one of the largest parks in all of Denmark, and it recently received a lot of attention thanks to their new for 2022 roller coaster in Phoenix. This was the park's eighth different roller coaster, and it joins a lineup featuring a unique Gerslauer launch coaster and a rare SNS wood coaster. Then there are some solid non coasters ranging from flat rides and water rides worth trying. So in this video, I will rank the park's top 10 rides and attractions. This list will mostly include the dry park, but I did venture into the water park even on a cooler day to try their most notable slide, which you will see later on this list. Number 10 Farup Rafting. This River Rapids ride has a leisurely course through the woods. Don't expect to get too wet though, as the waterfall just miss you, the geysers straight up miss you, and the rapids do nothing. This ride really is about the visuals. Number 9 Seyun. This Vacoma family boomerang has an out and back layout identical to Light Explorers at Energylandia. The initial drop has a little falling sensation, and while the bunny hills lack any airtime, there is a cool splash effect when the train passes. Then the far spike offers some faint weightlessness if you're towards the front. While this ride isn't too extreme, it is smooth and pretty dynamic for a family coaster. Number 8. Try Stamerne. Like the River Rapids ride, this log flume is a scenic course surrounded by trees. And there are a few animal statues too. This flume is an identical layout to the one at Jura Summerland, so you have three okay drops along the way. Although, this one didn't seem to get me nearly as wet. Number 7. Flower Moosen. This Revershawn spinning coaster is a solid installation. The initial section has some laterals, and the first drop gives a pop of airtime, as does the double up leading into the second half. But once the spinning unlocks, this ride becomes much more exciting. These cars spin at a pretty good clip, making the second half quite disorienting. Number 6. Vier Vilden. This Samperla Frisbee runs a decent cycle. You get a little positive G's on the downswings, but the ride is more about the floater airtime and the max swings. If you're at the apex, you get some good lift out of your seat, but the airtime is noticeably weaker if you're towards the bottom of the claw on the swing. Number 5. Orkanen. This Vacoma suspended coaster is the same layout as Dollywood's Dragonflyer, but I prefer this ride's placement over the water. It's cool diving into the misty tunnel, and the initial overbank is a shockingly forceful maneuver for a family coaster. The rest of the helixes have a little force to them, but it's a great coaster for families between the sensation of flight and smoothness. Number 4. Van Kananen. This trapdoor slide is notable for featuring not one, but two loops. Built by Aquarena, this slide stands six stories tall. Riders board a capsule, and once the floor drops, you zoom down the steep plunge giving a nice freefall sensation. Then you whiz through two inclined loops. The first isn't too fast, but the second is very compact so you get some decent positives. The slide is quite smooth too, which can make or break these speed slides. Number 3. Falcon. This SNS wood coaster features an out and back layout with some underrated airtime. The first drop had some great floater airtime in the back. Then the first two camelbacks had some surprisingly sustained airtime throughout the train. The downside with this coaster is that it has some questionable transitions and poor track work at points. Fortunately, the seats are cushioned to absorb the blows, so the shakiness wasn't a deal breaker for me. Number 2. Lena. This Gerslauer creation is a strong first two thirds. It starts with a very punchy LSM launch. If you've ridden any of the Gerslauer launch coasters, you know how much power these rides can offer. The top hat gives very sustained laterals with a little floater airtime. The camelback offers nice sustained ejector airtime. Then you also get popped out of your seat entering both mid-course brake runs, and the two corkscrews have great hang time. The finale is pretty tame though as you finish with a weak helix. This ride is reasonably smooth too, but you do need to watch your head on a few transitions due to the over-the-shoulder restraints. And coming in at number 1 is Phoenix. This Facoma Wildcat coaster is the perfect addition for this park. This coaster is glass smooth and it offers a super well paced layout. While this ride doesn't have bone crushing positive G's or wild ejector airtime, it does have over a dozen airtime hills offering floater pops. Then the first drop offers stronger more sustained airtime if you're in the back. But the highlight for me were the three inversions. The stall loop offered oodles of hang time. 
then the barrel roll and corkscrew offered incredible whip and laterals as the train absolutely hauls through them. I have an entire review in this coaster, but it's a super rideable attraction and a really good star coaster for this park. So those are the top 10 rides and attractions at Farrup Summerland. Do you agree with this list? Let me know what your favorite rides of this park are down below. If you enjoyed this countdown, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like and you considered subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.